Hey guys, I'm Will from Testin. I'm Norm from Testin. It's uh, Windows Phone 7 time. Mango is, well, in our hands, it's not out yet. It's not Whoa. out until the fall. It's a beta. We have an early beta here right now. We're going to take you through the whole thing, show you everything there is to see about Windows Phone 7 Mango. At least the right stuff now. that works right now. Yeah. The first thing you'll notice about Windows Phone 7 Mango is that the live tiles that make up the home screen are a little bit livier. Yeah, so tiles are the big innovation in Windows Phone 7. I mean, on the, on the front page, you can put tiles for different apps, you can put pictures, tiles for pictures, Xbox Live, yep, for Zoom, and also for individual contacts. So if you want to pin a favorite person on your home page, you could do that. Oh, look, I have a new message from Gina Smith, my wife. Yep, and so those contact hmm. tiles are now more dynamic. So when Windows Phone 7 came out, it was really tightly integrated with Facebook. And you know, you, you, it would connect to Facebook by default, even without having to install an app, and pull pictures and phone numbers and email addresses and all that stuff for people in your contact list from Facebook. Very tightly integrated. Yeah. Well, that integration is now also, you get Twitter integration. Right, the problem, it's not implemented in the build that I have right now on the server side. The, the hooks are there on the phone. Uh, so if you go to the accounts and you can put in all the information that just says, hey, this isn't turned on yet. So you can't use it, but the upshot is, It'll pull contact photos, it'll pull status updates. You'll be able to post status updates from the Pictures app. So if you have a picture that you would like to post to Twitter, you can just do it from inside the camera roll of the phone, which is you know, pretty sweet if I wanted to Yeah, share without launching any other app. And even with Facebook, that's also improved, so now uh, check-ins um, are included. Yeah, it'll also integrate with LinkedIn and SkyDrive as well. So one of the things that annoyed me about earlier versions of Windows Phone 7 are that when you had a, uh, a person in here and they showed up multiple times, say, say they use their middle name on Facebook, but you yeah. don't have their middle name in your contact list, you would have a bunch of entries for the same person. Or if you use different email address for your Facebook account and for you know a work account. Well. Exactly. So now you can merge them all together, so then they just show up as a single person in your phone list. Nathan Edwards, you will no longer take up four entries in my contact list. As no one should. Also, uh, they've added groups, so you can uh, you can make a group, and it's almost like a uh, it's almost like a mailing list uh, that's held entirely on your phone. So I'm going to make one that's for uh, tested folks. Oops, I'm going to make one that's for tested folk. I hope I'm included. Uh, you are tested folk. Sweet. I'm going to add a contact. I'm going to add Anna. I got a lot of A's in here. Anna Herka Robles, who doesn't use her email address. There's Braga. Yeah, that's enough for the group. That's enough for the group. So uh, now that I have the group made, I can go back out here. And it says, OK, you have phone numbers for two or three members. You have email for two or three members. If I had MSN contacts, if I had Facebook set up for these folks, then you'd be able to message them all through the same interface. Yeah, so what's another new feature? Unified chat. Yeah. So whether you use Facebook chat, text message, or if you're a Windows Live person, Live Messenger user, um, Ooh, then hello. you can send them. It's, it's all one chat window. Yeah, it pulls the same thing. The other neat stuff is the group stuff, of course, will pull status updates from Facebook or Twitter when that's turned on, as well as pictures, if there are pictures here. Oh, look, I can go look at Norman Chan's photo albums from Facebook. Mm. Oh, Dodgeball 2005. I wonder what this is. That was from a long time ago. Oh, man. Oh, hold on. Wow. I'm going to rotate this. Oh, my god. Did goodness. you have a uniform? Wait, hold on. Where's Norm? That's not Norm. That's not Norm. Oh, that's not goodness. Norm. I'm going to create a new a that's not norm. on my Oh, phone. my god. That's the Chan. Wow. 2005. This is six years ago. 2005. And guess what? I haven't aged a single day. You haven't aged a single day, Chan. So IE9, we've been waiting for this for a long time because now IE9 finally, yeah. finally, finally supports HTML5. The web browser, it's the most yeah. important app on a modern smartphone. The, the direct zoom stuff works. It renders a little bit faster. Its performance still isn't quite what I'd expect in in like JavaScript benchmarks and stuff like that, but it is still a beta. And I expect that there'll be some changes between now and then. The best part though is that things work. Uh, even <laughs> things when using, work is something you should things, always aspire to. Things work. And, and by that we mean HTML5. Yes. So it's, basically when you go to like uh, our site and you check the video page and you want to play an HTML5 video, it works. Yeah, it, mobile site only is HTML5. Mm -hmm. uh, but when this loads, sometime in the future, yeah, so we, you can just click the video and it plays. It's magical. Oh look, it's Norm talking about a Sony phone on a Microsoft phone. That is so meta. This is pretty meta. Um, so yeah, that, I was really pleasantly surprised by that. The browser in general seems to be better. And uh, the browser, while we're in the browser, let's talk about this. It's one of the only apps that supports multitasking right now. Yeah. Uh, they just released the APIs for that stuff a couple weeks ago at Mix. You may remember the news of that on Tested. Uh, but what you can do is start, the, start loading it, uh, come back over here. I'm gonna go to, I went to another app, I went to the home screen. Probably by the time we get back, it'll be loaded. And it is. 
Yep. So uh, when more applications support background APIs and that stuff will all change, uh, whether it's you know Twitter or, or Facebook or whatever. Kinda true multitasking. Yeah, it's it's like iOS multitasking. It's uh, it's uh, state saving with background APIs for things like music playback and location awareness and that kind of stuff. And IE nine loading. Yeah, and and IE nine loading. So Xbox Live also has been enhanced. So a lot of the stuff that was only available in the extras before is now in built in built directly. The main and, and remember, with Windows Phone Seven when it first came out, you had to download a separate app called Extras. Oh look! In order to look it's at your me. avatar. Hey, that's your look avatar. Look at my avatar. It looks like me. Uh, but if I want to make it look not like me, I can go in and edit it. Uh, it's going to add the Xbox Live extras. This is what you need now if you want to do avatar modification. Yeah. But the default kind of hey, look at what games I'm playing and look at my profile and achievements and all that stuff. It's just built in. I like that. It's pretty good. So uh, Bing has gotten some context-sensitive search. This is kind of what they do. The first thing you'll notice is it is location-aware. So we are at the Embarcadero in San Francisco, and it says that under the location bar. Mm -hmm. uh, I was thinking, until I saw the happy hour, I was thinking I might want to see Green Lantern. Uh, but I guess I'll go see the Penguin movie instead. Mr. Popper's Penguin. Mr. Po oh, and it just pops up. Mr. Popper's Penguins. Except for I missed the tap. Mr. Popper's Penguins. It, now, what happens with this is it's going to give you kind of context-aware cards. So it knows that Mr. Popper's Penguins is a movie. It gives you web results. And it says, okay, here's the web results. But if you want to go over to local, oh, wait, maybe nobody's showing Mr. Popper's Penguins. I'm just going to go click on this. So now we go to a movie type card. This gives you the metadata, the rating, and the synopsis and runtime, all that stuff. I don't care about that. I want to know where I can go see this. It says it's at the AMC Van Ness 14 at 7 o'clock at 9.30. I'm going to buy tickets right now. Directly Boom. off the phone. Would that launch you another app? Except for no, it makes you launch an app. It says you can buy tickets ah, from MSN Movies. Got it. This is the other thing that's changed. There's tight integration between apps and uh, certain types of search results. And app developers can actually associate their uh, app with certain types of search phrases, like showtimes or movies or restaurants or whatever. Maybe deals. Yeah, and now if you want to search for other things that are local, I'm going to go back to search again. And say I want to find like coffee in this area. That's a very generic term. It's something How that people awesome might do. Coffee? Uh, awesome coffee is too specific in my app specific experience. There's an app for that. You see that result pop up right mm -hmm. here. But I'm going to go to local, and this gives you a different kind of presentation than just a bunch of links on a page. Uh, you can go to the you can go to the browser and actually the map browser and actually just see the map with all the little widgets on it. That's not that great an experience in my uh, in my experience. That's a lot of experiences, I guess. Um, but you can click here and it'll take you to another card for restaurant and food type services. There's a couple of different kinds of these experiences. Um, but for the most part, the, you know, it's restaurants, hotels, uh, food stuff, attractions, movies, all around kind of entertainment and stuff. And also Microsoft has taken a cue from Google with their Google Goggles feature um, and uh, does the same thing with Bing. So for example, you can use the camera Will's using right now to uh, take a photo of this Book looking like package. Oh my god, DVD it works. Case, and it recognizes that it's the Cult of Cartman DVD set. It also will do text rec recognition if you have like a big page of text. Uh, and you can, of course, go find some place that you can go buy this, like Amazon or from the IMDb app or any number of other relevant things. Because, you know, smartphones are about buying stuff. Okay, so that is Windows Phone 7 as it is right now. I've been carrying the phone for the last couple of days. It's, it's, a, it's a definite improvement over the stock original Windows Phone 7. Yeah. Gotta love the faster IE9, HTML5 support, yeah. and just like things that they've done well with the contacts integration with Facebook, now you're gonna get that stuff with Twitter. Unfortunately, a those lot of features, not, not in our beta right now. Yeah. It's gonna come out this fall. Microsoft says there are 500 new features. We showed like seven of them. Yeah, and they're gonna roll to all phones simultaneously on all carriers simultaneously. So that's why the big gap between the beta, which is out now, developers, I think we're gonna get it soon. I don't know exactly what the story is with that, and when it'll actually be out for everybody later this fall. So stay tuned for more Windows Phone 7 Mango information. We'll definitely have more here tested. I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys next time. Bye.